right now there's a narrative from Nigeria that is a narrative built on denialism denying the reality of what is happening I think it's a disservice to those of us who are engaged in peace work we want to be encouraged to continue to promote peaceful coexistence between Christians and Muslims but we cannot do that under the pretense of deceit and the encouragement for 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 denials of what is happening the real situation on the ground to continue so the British government needs to speak truth to power to itself first speak truth to power to the authorities in Nigeria let's think beyond the interest of governments but to think about the interest of the common man like the prayer breakfast theme when this morning serving the common good that is what I personally believe in as a missionary as a peacemaker let's think about how to help everybody so the governments will need to give up some of their selfish interest stop protecting the interest of some of those who are there in power in Nigeria don't empower them to do evil in their own country let's face the truth and let's make sure that the ideals of hope transform this conflict in Nigeria that is my appeal that is my commitment also to continue to work locally to achieve I tell you this the local people are ready for peace are those at the top ready to support those at the bottom.